Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is our third, third lecture of digital limit processing. In this lecture, we will discuss some digital image processing fundamental concepts. The first concept of this lecture is sampling. What does the sampling mean? Let's suppose when we go to, to a shop and we pick some amount of uh, rice from the bag of shopkeeper, that small amount of rice is called sample amount. It means sample is always a small quantity, not a big quantity. Keeping this concept in view, we discuss the something. Let's suppose this is an image which contains 12 columns and 12 rows. This is a color image and original M cross N, M column, M rows and N column, 12 rows and then 12 columns is equal to total number of pixels 12,144 pixels image. This is 144 pixel original image and uh, we will try to get a sample image from this original image. Uh, look at this uh, slide. Here we are taking few columns as a samples. Column number 1, 4, 5, 8, 9 and 12. 1, this is column number 1, 4, 5, 8, 9 and then 12. These 6 columns we are taking as a sample from the original image. And 6 rows, row number 1, row number 4, 5, 8, 9 and then row number 12. These 6 rows uh, are also we are taking in our sample image. So, the rest of the pixels have larger amount and we are ignoring those pixels and just considering the pixels shown in this uh, image of uh, current slide. Uh, required sample pixels of red, blue and green colors of image. These are the red, blue and then green color pixels which we have taken as the samples. In the next slides, we have composed those pixels which we have taken as a samples, we have composed them into a and uh, into the form uh, of an image and there are there you may see six columns and six rows in this image this is a sample image while the ori original image in this image there are six multiplied by six is equal to 36 pixels image while the original image you may see there were 144 pixels so we have taken only uh, 36 out of 144 pixels as a sample pixels. This is called sampling when we take small amount from the original one. Uh, you may also uh, see here the effect of sampling. What effect the uh, sampling uh, does add the original image? Robot image with full and reduced sample information. It has full information, well, it has reduced information. Figure 1 shows the robot image with full information. This is figure 1. This shows the full information. After performing sampling operation, we perform samples and we discard some pixels from the arms, from the body, and from the legs. 
figure 2 shows the image with reduced sample data with the information uh, B from arms, T from legs and Y from body has been lost. In this image you may see this information B information in the in, in the arms have lost while the E information in the legs you are uh, you may you may observe that uh, this image is missing the E information and the legs and Y information here you may see there are X Y and Z information in the body of robot while here you may see X and Z information while the Y information has been lost so when you get a sample image from the original image you may last some informations uh, which uh, which may not be recovered back it means during sampling some information about the image has been lost now the last information from figure 2 this is figure 2 here the information has been lost from figure 2 uh, cannot be now the last information from figure 2 cannot uh, be recovered back to form the original image of figure 1. We cannot uh, recover the last information and we cannot uh, reproduce the original image this one from this reduced image. It means we can reduce and uh, reduced an image from original image but we cannot reconstruct the original image from reduced image as you have uh, seen that uh, sampling uh, process uh, loses some uh, information from the original image uh, similarly there is another concept of quantization uh, look at this concept. This concept uh, belongs to colors. Original, original image with many colors. There are, uh, you may observe, red color. This is pink color. This is uh, blue color. And this is cyan colors. Related or near to blue. This is green color and this is grapes color which is also related to green color. There are six different colors in this image and in next slide you may see what, what does quantization means. We actually reduce the number of colors as we have observed in the previous image. There were six colors red, uh, pink, blue, cyan, green and then uh, grapes color. Total color present in the original image were six and these two colors belongs to a red category so we give them a single color red all the pixels which are red have color in the quantized image they will have red color and all the pixels which are uh, pink in the original image will also have the same color red in the quantized image similarly these two colors are also very near to each other and have uh, blue like bluish uh, la, color in both the uh, pixels so all the pixels having blue color will also have blue color and the color the pixel which have cyan color will also be converted into blue color similarly uh, these two colors are also very near to each other so all the green color will have green color all the green, green color pixels will have green color in the original uh, quantized image while the pixel having grapes color in the original image will also have green color in the quantized image so in the quantized image we will observe just three colors instead of six colors you may see this one there were red color and there were pink color all have been red 
there were uh, these pixels uh, were blue in the original image and these pixels were cyan in the original image while in this quantized image both the color of both the pixels both the group of pixels have been uh, blue now uh, look at these pixels these were green in the original image and these were gray color but in quantized image both have been green now from this quantized image we cannot recover back the image with original six color we cannot get back or develop back or retransform back the uh, original color image that is the color uh, the image of the uh, six color that is three of the colors have been lost here which cannot be recovered back so quantization also uh, is the process uh, in which uh, we have lost some image information yeah, that is some of the information uh, belongs to image have lost during the process of quantization here actually the previous slides uh, were just the overview of the sampling and quantization now we will apply uh, the process of sampling and quantization as the original image and we will see how sampling and quantization uh, perform their operations before going into the detail of sampling and quantization uh, we uh, we should uh, clear the concept of discrete and continuous values uh, continuous values actually uh, have uh, are those values which have uh, discrete that is digital uh, values 1 2 3 6 uh, 4 5 6 7 and also in between 1 and 2 in between this is 1 and this is two in between one and two there are uh, many values uh, which are float values 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 up to 1.9 and then it becomes two there are so many uh, more uh, near about uh, nine or ten values which are float values so and similarly in between two and three there are also 2.1 2.2 2.3 uh, float values are also uh, present here in between 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are the digital values or the discrete values while the point values uh, are called continuous values. So this series of values which have digital values and also float values are called continuous values. And similarly you may see here a continuous line without any break. Discrete oblique digital values are called only without point values will are called the discrete values. So this one is the discrete values or digital value. This two is the discrete or digital value. This three without point is called discrete or digital value. And then four, five, six. This six is called the discrete or digital value. And this seven is called the discrete and digital value remaining values are not the discrete or digital values so how this concept uh, how we can clear this concept actually why uh, why we are required uh, the concept of continuous and discrete value because we have to convert the continu continuous image into digital image and this continuous image is converted into digital image uh, with the process of sampling and quantization. So before going into the detail of conversion of continuous image into digital image, we have to clear our concept of continuous values and discrete values. It means during the process of sampling and quantization, we uh, ignore these uh, point values and uh, these are the informations which uh, we uh, which are not uh, present here in digital part of uh, image so 
uh, you may see uh, also the continuous and uh, discrete values concept here this is actually uh, just like the uh, diagram of uh, a sliding uh, uh, installed here in the uh, children park uh, one uh, part of the sliding is uh, a stair here the children go up uh, from this side and return back to ground from top to bottom from this sliding side this sliding side actually uh, is just like the continuous values while this uh, stair side is just like uh, discrete or digital values uh, why we call them discrete or digital value because the, there are selected points of uh, there uh, there uh, there exists some selected point belong to this continuous lines while the remaining points are not present here you may see it from this let uh, we draw a line from this stair side then the corner of the stair touch this continuous line at some point this point is called 1 this is called 2 this 3 4 5 6 7 only this 7 points are of this lines this lens has so many points but uh, you may uh, you may say that there are infinite uh, points in this line but uh, this seven points of this continuous lens are called the digital points while the whole line belongs to continuous values or continuous points so here you observe the continuous line which is a sliding side and uh, this is the example of uh, continuous values and this side is the example of digital or discrete values we have to convert continuous image with the help of with the process uh, uh, of something and quantization into digital image Con converting xy planes into grid uh, here image sampling and quantization creating digital image by converting the continuous sense data into digital form actually when we uh, capture an image from digital camera that image is actually the continuous image or the continuous signals digital camera has mechanism has sensors which uh, convert their digital image uh, into uh, into uh, uh, the, the digital camera perform some sampling and quantization process on that continuous signals or continuous image and convert it into digital form this involves two process that is conversion from continuous to digital image is uh, consist on two process sampling and quantization image sampling and quantization an image may be continuous with respect to the xy coordinate and also in amplitude xy coordinate you have uh, been already uh, you are well known about uh, xy coordinate in the uh, geometry of uh, mathematics uh, and uh, similarly the concept of amplitude uh, you also uh, well fa familiar with this concept uh, because this concept belongs to the phys uh, physics, uh, top physics topics and uh, you may see here let's suppose this is a an x and y plane and this is a sine wave this is a sine wave in this sine wave the highest point of this wave is from x plane to this point this is highest point and this is called amplitude this is called amplitude so this pixel have high amplitude while the pixel of 
this sine wave signal uh, present here have small amplitude while the pixel present here have very small uh, amplitude so different pixels have different amplitudes in a sine wave signal uh, in the concept of image processing amplitude is called pixel intensity here in wave you may see the height from x axis to this highest point is called amplitude while in the concept of image processing this amplitude is uh, related with pixel intensity that which pixel has high and which pixel has low intensity or pixel color so is this amplitude is also called pixel color pixel intensity or pixel color uh, today onward we will um, use the concept of pixel intensity or pixel color instead of amplitude uh, an image may be continuous with respect to the x y coordinate and also in amplitude we have to transform both coordinates and amplitude values into discrete values as you have uh, already been observed that we have reduced the coordinate that is number of columns and the number of rows from original image to uh, con uh, sample image and also the color intensities we have also reduced the number of colors from six color to three colors we have reduced so amplitude values into discrete values we have to convert amplitude values into discrete values digitizing the coordinate values is called sampling coordinate values that is number of rows and number of columns when we digitize them that is we discard the continuous values and only select the digital or discrete values this process is called digitizing the coordinate value and it is called sampling digitizing the amplitude values that is intensity or color samples when we reduce the number of uh, colors from an image this process uh, this uh, process is called digitizing the amplitude value and is also called quantization here uh, see that there are four points take a line of body, a continuous image find its continuous function take equally spaced sample along line draw a gray scale gray level scale containing eight discrete levels ranging from black to white eight discrete levels eight discrete levels of color here you may see uh, the first point is take a line of continuous image. Let's suppose this is an image, this is a continuous image, not the digital image. There, in this image, there are so many uh, rows. Uh, you may see, uh, say that there are, the, let's suppose, uh, 100, uh, 200 rows in this image. And this image contains uh, 150 columns, let's suppose. So, among these 200 lines i want to take from uh, a single line from point a to from point b when i will take this single line this single line have so many pixels some are white this area is white this area is white some are dark uh, black some are light black here the middle point consists on light black pixels so i want to take a single line of pixel from this uh, point to this point uh, the first point means take a line take a line of continuous image find its continuous function take equally spaced samples along line what does it mean take equal space samples along line I have take, uh, taken this line and this take uh, lines here this is the white color and you may see some pixels uh, have 
range high white uh, actually the bottom lines here consists uh, uh, the, the color belongs to bottom line is black well when we go up it becomes white so we denote these white pixels at this level and when we reach at this pixel this specific pixel uh, then the graph comes down and denote that uh, the, this specific pixel is uh, a black pixel so we uh, represent this pixel in the graph here and then gradually when we go onward towards the point D the pixels uh, becomes darker to lighter lighter and then from lighter to darker so our graph becomes nearly uh, go up and then go down because dark and then light dark and then dark so dark and then light dark and then dark and when we cross this point specific point and um, uh, go towards point B these points are again the white pixel so the computer jumps up and go to this white level and represents the remaining pixel from this point to point B at white level so this is the graph which we have taken which have, we have made from this from this pixel point A to B of this image here our uh, third point was uh, take equally spaced take equally spaced sample along line it means one two you may see cutted line here broken line so we have to take a pixel this one this is square shape pixels we have selected actually we are sampling the line pixel there are so many pixels at this line and we are selecting the few pixels as a sample you may see this one this one this one at this point um, uh, straight up this pixel has uh, white pixel has selected at this point at this point another white pixel is selected at this point the dark pixel is selected and similarly other dark these are the samples you may uh, look here the tag sample these few pixels have been selected from continuous line and uh, these pixels have uh, been uh, uh, depicted here in this image uh, as he in the previous uh, slide draw a gray level scale containing eight discrete levels actually there are 256 gray levels in uh, and in a gray image this is a gray image and this image contains 256 colors 0 is the dark color and 255 is the white color in between 0 and 255 there are so many other gray shades 128 is considered is the gray actual gray and when we come from 128 to 0 we the shades become darker and when we go from 128 to 256 the shades becomes lighter and lighter and at the end uh, the gray shade becomes white so among these 256 pixels we have to uh, uh, select only 8 pixels this is dark pixel 0 uh, level pixel this is the white pixel 256 it is called 256 it's the level the uh, gray level is 256 in between these two 0 to 256 six other gray shades are here so we have to convert the image 
into these eight shades. Not 256 shades, but eight shades. This is called quantization. So how we will do it? Actually, this pixel and this pixels. When uh, we take this pixel at this level, this is the gray level of this pixel. We take this and this these two pixels, and we actually uh, bring down this pixel at this level and make the uh, color of two pixels same. You may see here the two, two pixels have same color, while here each pixel has its individual color. As you have observed in our previous slides, here we convert during quantization, we convert the related colors to a single color. These are related color and we converted them to single color. These are the related color and we converted them to single color. Similarly, uh, the pixels having uh, some related color uh, are shown at the same level that they have become the single uh, of single color pixels. Uh, these two pixels have single color while here these pixels have different colors because their level is different while their level is same. There these four pixels one, two, three, four pixels here you may have the four or five pixels have same level uh, level of color while here in this picture they have different color but all these are very near to each other so they uh, they have uh, converted into a single color. Similarly, when we come down from this point to this point, uh, we are also uh, combining two pixels with the same uh, with the same color. We represent, we are representing two pixels with the same color. While here, the pixels have different shades, and this process is called quantization. This process is called quantization. Uh, starting at the top of the image, carry out this procedure line by line, produce a two-dimensional digital image. What does these two points mean? Starting at the top of the image. This is the top of the image. And this is the bottom of the image. So, here is a line, here is another line. So, this process of quantization, we have to apply at each and every line. And then, this whole continuous will be quantized into a quantized image. Uh, carry out the procedure line by line, uh, produces a two dimensional digital image. You may observe here, this is continuous image while we have converted it into a digital image this is digital image and many informations many of many color informations and many uh, other uh, coordinate information we have lost in this image this this image contains few uh, uh, colors and also uh, very few lines uh, of coordinate while this image is a continuous image, this have many. Uh, uh, this image has many colors and many coordinates because it's a bounded lens. You may consider this bounded lens. This is a con this is the uh, this is a continuous image, and the boundary is looking just like continuous. While the boundary of this image is not looking continuous, uh, instead it has been digitized and go up down up down and this is the process of something in quantization that we have converted this continuous image into some polymer or uh, quantized image the result of something in quantization is a matrix of real numbers different ways are used for representing digital image here you will see we will give it 
Uh, this is the zero point. This is one, two, three, four, five, six columns. Uh, uh, number of columns and one, two, three, four. There are number of rows. So this digital image is also represented like this uh, in the matrix form. Zero, zero origin. This is one, two, three, four, and n minus one uh, column at y axis and zero, one, two, three, and m minus one at the x axis. So this is the representation of digital image when we digitize the continuous image into digital form it becomes like this at the screen of the computer or the digital camera and uh, each dot represents a pixel uh, and this whole matrix is called f of x y because it has some x that is rows uh, values and some y that is column values so each pixel has coordinate this pixel has coordinated third number rows and second number column so this pixel has f of 3 2 location we can also represent it in the matrix form that is f of 0 0 f of 0 1 f of 0 n minus 1 f of 1 0 you may see here this is row 0 and column 0 this is row 0 and column 1 row 0 column 2 0, row 0 column 3 so the coordinate of this pixel are 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 and similarly the coordinate of these pixels are row number 1 and column 1 row 1 and column 2 row 3 1 or column 3 so these pixels have coordinate 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 and uh, at the uh, at the end the whole uh, rows and the columns have the each and every pixel present at the cross sections of rows and column have a coordinate value x and y so we can also represent in a matrix form this image f of x y is represented in the matrix form Mm, you may also see uh, it into the mathematical or traditional mathematical matrix notation. That is, let's suppose our image name is A and A of 0, comma 0. A of 0, comma 1. This is the sub subscript. First subscript represents rows and second subscript represents column. So, this location is A of 0, 0 location. This is 0, 1, this is 0, 2 and onward. All uh, this is uh, the mathematical matrix form. So, digital image is actually a matrix, a two dimensional matrix which contains rows and columns. Representation, uh, representing digital image, the digitization process requires decisions about values for M, N, and for the number of L of discrete gray levels allowed for each pixel. In the process of digitization, uh, we actually select some selected number of columns and selected number of rows. Similarly, some selected number of uh, gray levels that is colors. And this is the process of digitization. These are the digital values which we select from the continuous image. No requirement on M and N other than that they have to be positive integer. M and N, these rows and columns should be the integer values, integer number of rows, integer number of columns. Uh, due to uh, due to pro processing and storage, the number of gray levels typically is an integer power of two. L is equal to two is power k. That is, if it is a binary image, that is black and white image two color image then k will be one and two is power one is equal to two l means number of level number of color will be two one color will be black and other will be uh, white so the image will be black and white the value of k here is one and when we uh, when we uh, uh, take the value of k is equal to eight 
it becomes 2 is power 8 is equal to 256 so l is equal to 256 it means there are 256 gray levels the 0 uh, is the black and the 256 is the white level while in between all other levels are called the gray shades the discrete levels are equally spaced and that they are integer in the interval so these are all the discrete levels that's why l is 256 256 minus 1 is equal to 255 0 to 255 0 1 2 3 4 up to 255 these all are the integer values and equally spaced intervals have equally spaced intervals the number b of bits required to store a digitized image is a b is equal to m cross n cross k how many number of rows how many number of columns in the image multiplied by pixels uh, uh, number of bits of the pixel that was is it black and white pixel so each pixel will have single bit so here we will let's put our the, uh, the rows of our image are 20 and the columns are also 20 and this is black and white image then each pixel will have one bit so 20 multiplied by 20 into 1 uh, we will have 200 bits v is equal to n square k mean 20 uh, square uh, 20 square uh, means uh, 200 and uh, multiplied by k 1 uh, 200 into 1 means 200 pixel uh, m is equal to n this equation will become the this is equation when m and n are different that is number of rows and number of columns are not equal here if the number and number of rows and columns are equal then the equation becomes v is equal to n square k where number of rows and columns are unequal v is equal to m cross n cross k this equation will be the equation to calculate the number of bits in, it, in, in an image then an image can have k power of 2 gray levels it is common practice to refer the image as k bit image that was k is in the power of 2 here uh, for example an image with 256 possible gray levels value is called an 8 bit image if an image contains 256 gray levels then it is called 8 bit image why because 256 is converted into the power of 2 we can convert it it becomes 2 is power 8 this power 8 is equal to 256 here uh, it means this is equal to 2 is power k 2 is equal to 2 then the value of k will be 8 k is equal to 8 and k bit image means 8 bit image so k bit image if it has 256 color then we will uh, we'll say that it has it is a, an 8 bit image here as you may see the concept of resolution resolutions is uh, re the concept of resolution is twofold spatial resolution resolution the total number of pixels used in an image how many rows and how many columns when we multiply the rows into column we get the total number of pixels in an image this is called spatial resolution that uh, sometimes uh, we also say that what is the resolution of your screen uh, your computer screen so here we actually count the number of uh, pixels at the column level and number of pixels at the row level and we multiply then there uh, we get the total number of pixels present at our computer screen so spatial resolution consists of number of total number of pixels used in an image and it can say it is the product of columns and rows grayscale resolution mean when the number of gray scales values used how many number of gray scale values used in an image it is called grayscale resolution and during some play we lost some number of rows and columns as we have discussed in in our previous slide 
ग्रीन सैम्पलिंग बी लास्ट नंबर ऑफ रोज टू थ्री वी हैव लास्ट दिस टू रोज वी हैव लास्ट दिस टू रोज आल्सो वी हैव आल्सो लास्ट दिस टू रोज एंड सिमिलरली वी हैव लास्ट दिस कॉलम टू थ्री सिक्स सेवन एंड देन टेन एंड अलेवन दिस कॉलम वी हैव बिन लास्ट एंड द रिजल्टिंग इमेज इज दिस सिमिलरली इट इज कॉल्ड during the spatial resolution spatial resolution the total number of pixels used in an image how many pixels we are using for an image so the resolution will be accordingly if the resolution is low it means there are uh, few pixels in an image if the resolution is high it means there are Uh, several pixels in an image gray scale resolution it means the number of gray scale values used in an image if there are all 256 gray levels gray colors in an image then it is complete a gray level image and if we have discarded some color from the original image and uh produce an image with fewer shades of gray levels then the resolution of that image will be uh, less uh, than the original one so gray scale resolutions mean there are few colors in an image then the resolution is low and if there are many colors in an image the resolution is high gray scale resolution is high and l level digital image of size m cross n as having spatial resolution of m cross n pixel and a gray level resolution of l levels uh, uh, this is uh, this slides is actually the pre slides of the next slides uh, in the next slide we are going to see an image of m cross n pixels an image of size 102 row uh, 24 rows multiplied by 1024 columns pixels we have an original image with this this number of rows and this number of columns whose gray levels are represented by 8 bits shown in the next slide and uh, gray levels represented by 8 bits it means the image contains all 256 colors 8 bit image mean 256 colors are present in an image the spatial resolution is 1024 into 1024 and the color resolution the gray level resolution is 256 colors are present in an image the other image shown are the result of sub sampling of this original image so in the next slides we will show some reduced image in which we will reduce the number of rows and columns and that is we are sampling the image again and again and the number of rows and number of columns are reducing uh, more and more the sum sampling was accomplished by deleting the appropriate number of rows and columns from the original image this is actually the concept of uh, sampling that is we uh, reduced or we delete some number of rows and some number of columns from the original image and the reducing image is called the sample image here you may see this is actually 1024 rows and 1024 columns uh, the pixel contains 1024 uh, rows and 1024 columns and when we discard 1 2 3 4 up to 1024 there are odd number of column and even number of columns suppose we delete even number of columns and similarly there are odd number of uh, rows and even number of rows in in a sequence and when we uh, delete some number of uh, rows that is even number of rows from this image then the 
image becomes like this that is 50 percent uh, rows and 55 percent columns have been reduced from the original image and original image has become uh, 5 uh, 512 into 512 the original image have become uh, 512 rows and 512 columns and then we delete some number of rows and some number of columns from this image it becomes this one 256 number of rows and 256 number of columns and when we discard or delete uh, uh, half rows and half columns from this image it becomes 128 number of rows and 28 number of columns this picture consists on 128 columns and 128 rows and similarly this picture this image contains 64 columns 64 rows and this image contains 32 rows and 32 columns this original image has so many informations but this has lesser information from this and this image has more less information from the original one and similarly the last one has very less information as compared to this original one because there we have reduced we have deleted so many rows and so many columns from the original image and many informations have been lost in this image this uh, resolution is called uh, spatial resolution because spatially that is number of rows and number of columns are reducing more and more and the resolution is becoming less and less when we go from this original image to this small image these images shows the dimensional proportion between various sampling density. In the previous uh, slide, we have been observed uh, the sampling, but their size difference make it difficult to see the effect resulting from a reduction in the number of samples. You cannot observe the effect of uh losing information in these images then we convert this image into this cell you may observe uh, the uh, loss uh, in, in loss of information loss of information you may observe when we convert this image into uh, this size original size and when we convert this image into this original size and when we convert this last image 32 bit into this original size then you may clearly observe that how many information have been lost in these images uh, you may observe here this one was the original image this is 5 12 into 5 12 this is 128 into 1 and 256 into 256 120 8 into 128 64 into 62 32 into 32 you may see that we cannot we can convert the 32 into 32 uh, image uh, back into the original size but we cannot recover the information which we have been lost the size of image can be recovered but the information cannot be recovered back this is the effect of sampling and similarly the effect of gray level you may see in the next uh, two slides uh, this is a uh, gray level resolution this is actually an image which contains uh, 256 colors this is 256 levels image image a uh, a b c d this is a this is b this is c this is d image a is 5 uh, 432 into 3 74 pixel image and having color 256 here while this image contains uh, 128 uh, colors the dimension of b image is same but the colors have been reduced quantized 
this image contains 64 colors this image contains 32 colors and similarly this image contains 16 colors and this image contains 8 colors this image contains 4 colors and this image contains only 2 colors this uh, uh, example is called quantizations of colors uh, and uh, you may see uh, this is the uh, gray level resolution when the gray levels when we reduce the gray levels the quality of image becomes this and when we increase the number of gray levels the quality of image improves gradually and at the end it becomes a very fine image the last image this this image is a very fine image because it contains all 256 colors and uh, very large gray level resolutions are is here well the very less gray level resolution you may observe in the last image this this is the binary image because there are only two gray levels dark black and white so the quality of this image is very low you may uh, you cannot see here the uh, image of uh, of the shade of nose and mouth and other details while you can observe in the previous uh, shades here all the things are uh, you may see clearly nose and mouth and chin and all other things so this is very fine image while this image has lost so many informations and have only two gray level resolution why do we need to convert an analog signal to digital signal or analog image to continuous image to digital image the first and obvious reason is that digital image processing deals with digital images our topic or our course name is digital image processing so digital image processing does not deal with the continuous image it deals with the digital images uh, that are digital signals and these digital images are also called digital signals so whenever the image is captured whenever we captured an image from uh, the original scene, the outer door shooting, it is converted into digital format uh, by the digital uh, camera and then it is processed and uh, it is processed mean digital image processing operations are performed on that digital image. The second and important reason is that in order to perform operation on an analog signal with a digital computer you have to store that in analog signals into computer and in order to store an analog signal infinite memory is required to store it to store the analog signals infinite memory is required to store those signals which is not the capacity of digital computer and since that is not possible so that uh, that is why uh, we convert that signal that analog uh, analog, analog signal the digital uh, continuous signal into digital format and then store it into digital computer and then perform the operation on digital operation on that uh, digital image which we have been stored in digital computer this uh, uh, was the end of uh, to uh, second uh, or the third lectures uh, uh, two of one because we, we have uh, delivered uh, previously we have uh, been, been, I have been delivered uh, two lectures in a single class and uh, this is the third lectures of uh, uh, second week and uh, our next lecture will be the fourth lecture of the second week the office